I'm working in applications of uh, physics to medical problems using nanoscience and nanotechnology. So I've spent a long part of my life developing microscopes so we could see molecules and biological systems in their native state with nanometer resolution. And recently I'm working on developing microscopes that use these sort of nano fingers to to be able to assess how soft and hard biological materials are, so how the mechanical properties of materials, of biological materials. I'm working with biologists at the Oxford Martin School. We're trying to relate this to disease. Uh, for example, we're, we're trying to see if cancer cells are softer, they are actually softer than uh, normal cells, and how cells communicate in the body. And now I'm using this information for creating um, nanoscale <clears throat> scaffolds that uh, mimic the, uh, st the extracellular matrix in which uh, cells are put in the body uh, in order to regenerate tissue when for, for example have big injuries or heart attack or indeed spinal cord injuries. Basically when we are at the nanoscale we don't have devices to probe things like stiffness or you know, how soft or hard things are. So we are developing these materials outside and testing it with cells outside the body. But based on this, we also, we're developing these scaffolds. And these scaffolds will be the materials we will actually be able to implant in bodies or, or at least in models of cells in tissue. So for example, we, we're trying to create a scaffold that will be able to vibrate. So it will communicate mechanical signals to the cells, similar to the ones we have in the body. And at the same time, by reading the mechanical response of the material, we could start to investigate uh, what is the cell response to this mechanical signal. So in the future, we could, for example, stick these things inside the body, or not only for healing, but for example, monitoring things inside the body or monitoring, uh, who knows, uh, some people are using this kind of ideas even for creating implantable materials that train the immune system to kill cancer, for example. So there's a, a new way of thinking of using materials that you can put in the body for either healing, for monitoring processes in the body, or encapsulating things in the body, or create signals so it can change cells or, or test cells in a mechanical way.